is one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arm. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure the himself. Sure. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very... You ready? You ready? All right, here we are back inside Toyota Center, Houston, Texas. And it seems like every time the UFC comes here, something special happens. UFC 192, obviously an epic title fight between you and Alexander Gustafson. UFC 166, one of the greatest fight cards of all time. Houston's got another one in store tonight. Yes, tonight you have a chance to make your own history. We saw Melendez versus Sanchez. Me and Gustafson put on a show there. Velasquez and Dos Santos put on a show there. Will you be remembered like we have at the Toyota Center? Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Well, he continues to mix it up beautifully on the feet. Nice inside leg kicks there by Obama Mercier. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Short. All right, close guard now. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Wow. Oh. High-level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Nice job by Obama Mercier. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. We're trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, there's a big overhand. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. And that left hook landed on the button. Lands with the kick there. No pad on that foot. No shit. Kick down landed now by Obama Mercier. Pretty good right hand. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Obama Mercier. Oh, he lands another hook there. He's already landed several in the round. That one might have been the cleanest of the bunch. He turned his chin, made his chin touch his shoulder with that beautiful right. hook. He really got all of himself into that hook, pivoted off the right hand, big left hook lands. What a great punch. Ooh, what a punch. Oh! Big knee to the body! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. That one was thrown to end the fight. <laughs> Both fighters.
Riders hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Plus right hand is true. Nice kick. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, mission accomplished so far. When you can land that many leg kicks, you start to affect the movement. You start to affect the hand. Everything changes when you're blasting someone over and over and over with leg kicks. And you start to see the damage, not only in the legs, but in the facial expression right. of his opponent. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Oh, that's a nice strike. And just misses with that big right hand. Oh, nice. Oh, tags him with the left. That is an educated left hand. Educated left hand. He's throwing it so fast, so crisp. Nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate. Finding the range was relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Round two next. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint, DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. Kick lands, he's hurt. Nice punch lands over the top. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. And he landed the right hand there. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his comment from the clinch now, ooh, nice trip to get the takedown. Looked like he was in range for the counter. He's been trying to set that up. Unable to land there. Nice loose and punch. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Ooh, that uppercut landed for him. Oh, big left. Just misses with the straight right. And both guys really throwing with authority. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, Bob Garcia gets the double leg takedown now. Side control now. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by the Korean Super Bowl. All right, so there it is again, much like he did in the previous round, able to land that hook really at will. Over and over and over and over, he is landing that very same punch, whether it's to the body or to the head. Maybe an opportunity to get a choke here. Yeah, he lifts the head and goes under. Looks like he's trying to get a bulldog choke. Oh, man, that was slick. A lot of top pressure being applied here. With the elbows. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs. 
to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Chor. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Choi gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Great upper body movement defensively. Slips another strike there. And offensively, he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively, he's been strong tonight. And that has caused frustration for the opponent. Not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away. But that's a testament to the head movement and the activity and the awareness of this fighter defensively. Right hand punch. Oh, how about the transition to the ankle kick? Now we will see where he goes from here. Got the ankle kick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Ooh, big shot lands. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Nice jab there by Obam Mercier. Takedown defense holds up. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Straight right is there. Final seconds here of round number two. It's such a fast leg kick. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, here we go with our next round, and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of efficiency on this. Very, very efficient. Good round in the sense that he did not throw everything with absolute power, but he was touching the entire time. Then every now and again, he would set down on a strike that was really damaging his opponent. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Punches blocked. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, Bon Mercier's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs. What a take down. Oh, tags him with the left, so the right hand has been there, now he goes left hand. When you're able to fight from both sides, you become really dangerous. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape, or maybe look for a Kimura here. Working out of the half guard here. All right, he's hanging out inside the close guard of his opponent here, DC. You gotta be careful. Doesn't gain top position. What a beautiful thing that was just waited for one second, and his opponent reacted before he could secure top position. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Good punch, Lance. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He went high on that one. Oh, nice right hand. Now goes in and secures the takedown. 
throws the right hand there. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Might be a submission attempt here, Chad. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in punches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. That kick blocked by Short. Just misses with that one. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Right hand punch. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. Oh! Huge right hand! All right, feet on the hips here. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Short time now in the row. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. All right, got to be careful playing around inside his guard. Absolutely, John, that's why you don't sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, it gives these guys too many opportunities to chase submissions, and now he's jumping on a triangle. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. You need to get out of there. Let's go, do something. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, this is where you don't wanna be, though. Oh, Bon Mercier's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat. Both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fighting. No Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you gotta show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. The official decision is in. We said it inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 29 seconds of round number four. Playing the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Do Ho Chong. Well,
he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I didn't.